Welcome to Excel and Business Math video number 26. Hey, in this video, we have a quick, maybe two minute video where we need to ask the question Is an increase by 10 bucks the same as a decrease by 10 bucks? Let's go over to the sheet Increase, Decrease, Same question. Hey, here's the dates Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and here's the stock value. It went on Monday from 100 up to 110 and then went back down to 100 on Wednesday. And the question is, if we calculate the amount of the change and the percent of change, is the percent of change here from 100 to 110 going to be the same as a $10 decrease from 110 down to 100? Well, we can calculate the amount of change with our formula equals, please give me the and minus, and I'm going to use my arrow keys, to get the begin. Of course, when we enter that, we can do this one in our head. It's up by $10. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So here we went up by $10, and then here we went back down by the same 10 bucks, but as a decrease. Now let's calculate the percent change or rate of change formula equals, well, there's the change part divided by, and I'm going to arrow over to get the begin. Now notice here we're comparing 10 to 100, control enter, so that's 10% up. And when I copy it down, it should be 10% down, but no, it's not. Even though we went up by 10 bucks, here we went down. When we look at this formula, F2, we went right back down to the same number, but the percentage not at all the same. Minus 10 is being compared to 110. Not only that, but when we go down to the next formula, of course, that's back up to 10, enter F2, and look at that. $10 up very next day from 110 to 120. But of course, that result is not 10% because now we're comparing 10 to 110. Probably all of us already know this. It's just worth noting. Have in your memory, every time you see the same amount up and then the same amount down, you don't even have to bother doing the calculations. You know they will be different results in terms of percentage change because the base is different in both cases. All right, there's no homework for this video. And in our next video, video 27, we'll talk about checks and bank reconciliation. All right, we'll see you next video.